don't hesitate to do it um, because you won't regret it. Like I said before, you can't put a price tag on health. If you're the person who feels like you can't do it and you need motivation and you need someone there to help you, then Right to Fitness is definitely for you. Hello everyone, Faith here. We have the amazing Elizabeth with us. Elizabeth has lost 14 pounds in 16 weeks um, has, and has seen amazing results with working hard in her nutrition and exercise. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us about your experience with Right to Fitness today. Yes, ma'am, of course. What motivated you to start training with Right to Fitness? My sister-in-law, Danette, joined with you guys. I saw her and I thought, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. She looks healthy. And I have this, I have this picture of, um, of myself and, you know, what I used to look like. And, um, I did not like, um, the way I looked or how I was feeling. And, um, and I thought, I know Danette, I know Danette and I know her lifestyle and I know how busy she is. And I thought if Danette can do this with her busy lifestyle, then I most definitely can do it. I, you know, got online and I looked, and so I was motivated to be healthier and to look better the way I remembered myself looking and feeling. Have you previously tried anything else to achieve your goals? Um, and if so, what did you try? Yes, I've tried just about everything. <laughs> I've done a Weight Watchers. Um, I've done intermittent fasting. I've done, you know, beach body it wasn't anything that was sustainable, nothing that I could actually keep up with and do. And I would not, you know, I would not see the results that I thought I would see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what do you feel was uh, like missing from those programs? Um, I, I guess the key word would be sustainable mm -hmm. um, and the focus on um, wanting this to be a lifestyle and you, the way you guys structure everything is that this is a lifestyle and this is something that you are going to be able to do forever. And, um, this, just the understanding that, you know, we're all women and our bodies are all different. It's the fact that everything is individualized too, you know, it's not wrapped up in a box and a can and you ship it out to everybody else. You know, it's, you guys take the time. So you have the individual online coaching, which is so super mm -hmm. convenient, especially someone, you know, who's a mom, who's a teacher, I'm going to grad school. So, and plus I have, you know, I have some autoimmune diseases and you guys were so super familiar with everything um, that I, I'm going through. So just everything that you, you guys offer um, was, was amazing. Mm -hmm. You were working with me for the beginning of your journey. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we decided we were going to try some different things to help with, you know, a variety of things that we felt we could kind of solve through some nutritional changes. Mm -hmm. And we felt that Vanessa would be better suited. And so we transitioned you over to her because we just want whatever is going to be best for you. Oh, oh yeah. That was, that was a really easy transition. And it, and it wasn't that, you know, someone was going to be better than the other or whatever, but I, because of my autoimmune diseases that I have, and, um, I, I guess because Vanessa is more familiar with, you know, leaky gut and paleo and everything, um, you know, just being familiar, her being more familiar with what to do, um, to achieve my, my health and fitness goals, it worked out and, um, no. And then you just, you really did the, Faith, you did such a great job of, um, you know, providing, you know, like the scaffolding that I needed, <laughs> um, that Vanessa was able to work on, you know, you guys put the client first and what your goals are. So, yeah. Yeah. and getting to those goals. Absolutely. How did you feel before starting your transformation journey? I was really excited. You know, I was nervous and excited at the same time. I was, I was nervous about, um, you know, blending this journey with my family mm -hmm. and the, the way we eat as a family compared to the, you know, the, the goals I wanted to reach and how was, how was I going to blend that and, um, put those things together, you know, pizza night, taco night, you know, dinner out on Friday and, or, and, or Saturday, 
um, birthdays and everything. I was really overwhelmed about that. Mm -hmm. But after, after my interview with Derek, he told me that this is all, you know, about sustainable, you know, a, something that is sustainable, mm -hmm. that there's, it's in reality, you are not going to never have pizza. Mm -hmm. You're never not going to have tacos. So yeah. when you learn how to build a plate, a healthy, nutritious plate, you can actually have tacos and you can have pizza. So, um, that was the one thing I was really worried about, but, oh my gosh, whenever I received, um, you know, the breakdown of all of the plans, mm -hmm. I, you know, was ecstatic. And so, um, my family was able to eat the way I eat and it's, it's been such a growing experience for everybody in my family. So, and there was no judgment either. Like my whole family supported me. So, um, which makes it easier when you have a great support system. So what was your goal when starting out? When I started out, I weighed 176 pounds and my goal was to get to like 146. So that's about, you know, 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. But I knew that if I couldn't do it within what, 16 weeks, mm -hmm. that if I can at least get to like 15 pounds, then I know I can get the other 15. I know I can do it. So my goal was to lose, you know, that am amount of weight. And I didn't listen, I did not meet my pound goal, but, um, I met so many other goals, mm -hmm. you know, like whether it was losing weight, um, and, and just having a healthier lifestyle. Like I met that goal. I feel better. I'm happier. Um, and you cannot put a price tag on happiness and, and healthiness. You really, you really can't, uh, those things. Um, if you can change your nutrition and your exercise to be healthier and happier, you, you just can't put a price on that. So I am so happy that I met those goals. And I know that that number on the scale, it will come. Mm -hmm. I did not think that way before right to fitness. I did not think, you know, I did not think I needed to learn how to eat better to, you know, all of those things. I just thought that success was on the scale, but that's not the way, only way to get to success on the scale is to understand all these other things. Yes, absolutely. What results have you seen since you started on your journey? Well, I've lost, um, so I weighed in about like, <laughs> I weighed in at 159. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I, I would just like to say, I did come, I, I did come to kind of like a stale, like I was flatlining and that was because, um, I have leaky gut and uh, autoimmune issues. So I changed my program. And once I changed the, my, my nutrition, I then started to like, bam, 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 like the pounds would come off every week. I lost inches. Like you wouldn't like, I feel like I lost a lot of inches. Mm -hmm. Um, I lost, I think like three inches in, um, my three and a half to four inches in my waist, about three inches on my hips. I tried not to focus on that too much either. Cause I, my clothes were fitting better. I knew that it was movement in my body, you know, in my pants, I got to tell you, I, my pants, oh my gosh, it's been so nice to put on a pair of pants and they're like falling <laughs> off and you got to put a belt on. That's amazing. <laughs> feeling you're like I need, I need to <laughs> how do you feel now and how has your life changed since you started our program I'm gonna get emotional because y'all have no idea how much um you've helped me mm -hmm. feel better and feel healthier you know my my doctors have told me for years to to eat a certain way and I didn't think I could do it um but y'all you uh, you kind of made me feel like you can do this, Elizabeth, you got this. And I feel, I haven't felt this healthy in years. Mm -hmm. And to look in the mirror and see the person that I was before has been so, uh, it's just been so rewarding. And um, for my son to have a happier mom mm -hmm. and my husband to have a happier wife, it's just been a great experience. And I'm, I'm, I don't regret a dollar that I spent on this. What aspects of our coaching have you enjoyed the most? That messaging app mm -hmm. and how um, I could get immediate feedback. You guys try your hardest. You've tried your hardest in, you know, 
um, give feedback on meals that we eat. If I would eat a meal, you know, you would say, Hey, where's your fat? And I'd be like, what, what do you mean? Where's my fat? <laughs> what do you mean I have to eat fat? Cause you know, you ought to think, you know, no fat. And then sometimes you'd be like, it's a little light on the carbs, Elizabeth, you know, and I'd be like, okay, cool. Peace, some more carbs. <laughs> the feedback on how to improve my diet yeah. and knowing that I would be able to apply that, even though if I didn't do it, that meal, mm -hmm. I would be able to apply it to my next meal. So it was never like, oh my God, you ruined your week. What are you going to do now? It was don't focus on this, you know, focus on your next meal, you know, adjust, you know, and move forward. I loved the, the Facebook groups too. Um, and the coaching calls. So the Facebook groups where you guys would come in and motivate all of us to keep going strong. Um, if you didn't have this win this week, think about the net, the other wins that you had. It doesn't have to be weight loss. It could be things that you're doing consistently like meal prep. Mm -hmm. Um, I loved, um, other women, sharing their experiences too. Like that was really like, man, I'm not alone in this. What would you tell anyone who is thinking about working with us at Right to Fitness? I would say don't hesitate to do it um, because you won't regret it. Like I said before, you can't put a price tag on health. You know, it's, I really feel like um, if you are, if you're the person who feels like you can't do it and you need motivation and you need someone there, to help you, then right to fitness is definitely for you. So it's something that is sustainable that you're going to be able to do for the rest of your life and stay healthy. Health and nutrition and fitness are not one size fits all. Yeah. And, um, and I think that right to fitness really gets that, that everybody is different and all women are different and everyone, um, moves at different paces at, in, in any way, whether it's your eating or your exercise, you know, um, yeah, I just feel like the education that comes with the program mm -hmm. um, is probably the most valuable thing of the program is the education that you get. So do it. Don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. Not a dollar. So thank you so much for uh, joining us. We're so incredibly proud of you. Um, and I can't wait to see your continued progress as you go forward. Thanks, Faith. I really appreciate you.